In 2010, China became the largest exporter in the world. But with the increased popularity of smartphones, tablets, and other gadgets, China has also become a major importer of electronic waste. Much of the world's old electronics end up in family-run workshops in China. But as the country's wealth grows, it's not just foreigners adding to the stockpile of e-waste. Did you ever wonder what happens to your old computer or TV when you throw it away? Chances are some of your electronic junk ends up here in China, the world's biggest dumping ground for electronic waste. Electronic waste, or e-waste, arrives by the truckload to a southeastern Chinese town called Guiyu, where locals are experts at ripping apart electronic trash. There are e-waste disposal businesses here on nearly every street. And in mom and pop operations like this, workers rip apart the appliances and pull out the most valuable elements and components for resale to future manufacturers. They work fast, identifying and sorting plastic with the help of a flame. The women here tell us all the trash is foreign, even though Chinese law bans the import of electronic waste. The most valuable electronic guts, like circuit boards, are separated and the rest treated like some giant plastic harvest. Workers take piles of plastic chips and mix them into what looks like a synthetic stew. The men here say this plastic will be resold to the company Foxconn, which makes parts for Apple's iPhone. Guiyu may be one of the world's largest informal recycling operations for e-waste, but it is dirty, dangerous work. When recycling is done in primitive ways, uh, like what we have seen here in China uh, with the electronic waste, it it, it is hugely devastating for the, the local environment. Greenpeace says the water and air in Guiyu is terribly polluted. I am walking on flat screens. These come from laptops or from computer monitors or, or video TV screens, and they can contain a highly toxic chemical, mercury. And you can see how those chemicals could then seep into the environment and even into the food supply of nearby livestock. Locals insist it's cleaner here than it used to be. When my family moved here six years ago, this place was flooded with trash. But now it's much better. The authorities cracked down pretty hard and banned people from burning plastic. But talk to someone who doesn't rely on e-waste to make a living, and you get a very different story. Do you guys drink the water here? These migrant farmers say they don't dare drink the water. And one of them has a shocking admission. It might not sound nice, but we refuse to eat this rice that we plant because of all the pollution. We don't know who ends up eating this rice. Workers here complain their business has been hurt by a crackdown on e-garbage smuggled in from the U.S., Europe, and other Asian countries. But as Chinese consumers become more wealthy, the country is increasingly generating its own electronic waste. That puts new pressure on China, as well as the rest of the world, to figure out a cleaner, safer way to dispose of all this electronic junk.